This has been my setup since I moved out to Arizona. It's been kind of boring. Honestly, it's super lazy of me. But one thing that I do like about this room is my success poster that I have up, and then I've set up a couple camera angles. But other than that, my room's kind of basic. One other thing that I did do was I hooked up my TV monitor up to my laptop. As well with that, what I've done is I've made sure I had a pretty decent background. I took a couple pictures out in Sedona and of the Grand Canyon, and I'm using those as my background. So I guess those are kind of cool. But other than that, honestly, my setup's pretty dang lazy. So basically what I've been working on is just trying to create a really cool, dope YouTube studio that I can make a lot of really cool videos at for your guys' entertainment, as well as makes me feel a little bit better too. So that's exactly what I did. Well, now that doesn't look too bad, does it? Alrighty, so now the first thing we're going to want to do is before we actually start getting things set up and in your room, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pick out where is going to be the best spot to work at. For me, what I'd chosen is I'd pick this corner back here. And the reason why that was is it just made the most sense for how my room is set up. So yeah, basically after seeing my room, I'd figured out, like I said, this is going to be the best corner um, for me to do everything. And in that, I also thought about what type of camera angles overall that I actually want to show. Um, what I had set up basically is a pretty simple setup. As you can see here, I'm going to go to the point where I'm going to be kind of putting the camera. It'll be right here. will be kind of the main, one of the main center points. So I'll have that angle. And then I'm also going to be doing another angle right around here to kind of go over some of my editing and stuff like that. As you can see, I do have the mirror back there. That's my closet. So I needed to have something where I'm basically going to be able to show when I'm doing any sort of editing, any stuff behind the, I guess you'd say behind the laptop. So I also needed that. And then the last camera setup that I actually have is going to be something right around in this area. Um, the reason why that is, is some of this stuff will be direct head on footage as well as I'm going to be putting a poster up back there. You could probably see the box right now for it. That's that box that's right there. Uh, there's a big poster I'm going to be putting up over there as well as for any sort of like uh, Instagram lives, TikTok lives, stuff like that. I kind of need a uh, kind of coolish looking background and stuff like that. So one thing you want to do is before you get everything for your bedroom set up, you're just going to want to go scope out your room, make sure you have everything set up correctly, or at least have everything lined up and planned out for where you're going to be putting your camera at. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is I want to clean out this area down here because I want to take my PlayStation there and move it down. So I'm going to be cleaning all that out. I have some little cubbies back here that I'm going to be plugging in there to help clean some of that stuff out so that way I can do that. And then what I'm going to be doing is I actually have some uh, a shelf that I'm going to be building and placing right there so that way I can put like some of my camera accessories and things along those lines up there. And then what I want to do is I actually want to install an LED strip right along the back side there of my desk that I have. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be installing an LED strip right around the base of my bed. So that way I have a nice cool accessory lighting going on there. And then what I'm going to be doing is I actually have more accessory lights. I've got one light right there, one light over there. And what I'm going to be doing is I have some LED color choosing lights down there that I'm going to be putting in each of those. After that, what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be setting up the pro light I have. So I have this right now. It's okay. It's not terrible, but I definitely want an upgrade because these lights are pretty basic. So I'll be changing that up. 
And then last thing that I'm going to be doing is I have this canvas that I custom designed down here and I'm going to be putting that up on the wall. So let's get to it. I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we ain't steak, remember sleeping on the flow. We're still in that. So now that I have that place there, what I'm gonna be doing is I gotta kinda fill some stuff in here and then put some stuff so that way I can put my PlayStation somewhere in this area. Pose, fight to see the light of day, all this blood on my clothes. I was tired every day, green light, it's time to go. I don't wanna live life fast or die too young. Alrighty, so we just got this all finished up down here. So the next thing that I need to do is, I need to take my PlayStation here, and then I need to move it down in there. So what I noticed in just looking at it is the PlayStation is a little bigger, so I'll kind of have to tilt it a little bit sideways, but I think I'll still be able to make it work pretty decently. Just got that part set up everything down here is all set up and all good so the next thing I'm gonna be doing is I have a cubby that I'm gonna be setting up over here as well as I'm gonna be moving that light as well so I'm gonna be setting that up now set up here so now I'm gonna put it right over here I'm gonna put it up against the wall here then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one up I'm gonna set this one up and I'm actually gonna end up stacking this one on top of this one uh, and we'll make a nice kind of high little cubby stack so I'll get to some of that right now <music> all set up over here it's kind of what it looks like over from this camera angle over here here's kind of what it looks like from back here here's a little bit of an up close of this shelf here that's pretty nice and high up so now what I need to do is I need to fill this thing up so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be grabbing this stuff I'm gonna take that stuff on top there and take it off some of it I'll end up putting in these boxes here. Some of it I'm gonna have to find a spot to put it. And then, yeah, I'm gonna be taking that and then I'm gonna put it in there. Alrighty, I just took all that stuff off, put some stuff in there. So I'm gonna move this now. Into one of these. It's like a glove. It's absolutely snug in there. This one doesn't quite have as much in it right now, but eventually I'll be stocking these things up a bit more. And I'm already liking how this is looking here. Let me zoom out a bit. And I like how that's looking. While I was putting some of this stuff away off my bed, I kind of realized I want to fill these bottom parts up with stuff and I'm actually going to put some books on them. So I'm going to go grab some books from my bookshelf. set up over there my bed's completely cleared off I took the light down I'm gonna move this over just a bit 
So that way it helps out a little bit. Um, honestly, it'll bring this area a little bit closer over here, so that'll look a little bit tighter. And then what it's gonna allow me to also do is, later on when I end up setting up my new light that I have, that light is gonna end up going over here for some shots. So it's gonna allow for the camera to be more over there. Not sure how much exactly you could see me over there, but that's overall how I'm gonna be setting that up. Alrighty here, I just brought this all in. Here's kind of a little bit of a close up of how some of these scenes might look. Kind of setting it up from a couple different angles here. So that when I'm working on stuff, you can kind of get a feel for how it might look when I'm going to be doing certain stuff in the near future here. We'll kind of look a little bit at this angle. I'm moving some stuff around right now. Ooh. So this is another angle I'm going to end up having. Something around this. I'll still end up moving a little bit of stuff around so that way you can see a couple of stuff a little bit better when it comes to the new setup. So next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to be putting the camera over at this angle here. I'm going to be putting LED strip all around my bed there. Get that all set up. Then I'm going to be changing those lights up. After I change those lights up, we'll be going right over there. So let's get into action. So this one already doesn't have one in it. So I'm gonna put that one back up. I'm gonna take this one here. That does have a light bulb in it. Just set it so that way I can actually pull it down while still recording here. Ooh, fight the pen. All right, there we go, I got it. All right, perfect. Now that I got both of those two plugged in, or at least screwed in, what I've kind of been debating on is where I'm gonna set them. I think I'm gonna put one right here for now, just because I don't really know where I'm gonna put them. And then I'm gonna put the other one right here. Not too much moving. That one's gonna go right there. And then I'll end up plugging it in over in the wall over there. I currently have uh, my camera charger plug in. I've been charging that throughout the day. And then this other one, I'm kind of debating, I guess. I'm actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm actually going to put it right over there. So I'm going to go do that right now. set up I want to see how it looks you can kind of see it this will actually be a really cool angle when I get um, 
when I have my um, portrait up there. This will be a really cool like sit down talking angle as well that I really like so I'll probably end up doing this one as well. Um, so what I'm going to be doing now is retaining the lighting. I'm going to go with the teal because I really like that. I think that's a good theme. Alrighty, and we are almost complete with everything, really. Uh, we have the accessory lighting done, we have things behind me done. Some of the only things that I want to do is, if you've seen the other side of the room, I mean, it has really nice accessory lighting, but this side of the room now needs a little bit of it. So what I'm gonna be doing is, I have another one of these strip lights here. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be connecting it here, up and up in this area over here. I'm gonna drop it down and then I'm gonna run it along the back side of this. So in doing that, it should create a really cool accent lighting behind me, specifically for this angle, whenever I'm doing um, any sort of videos, whether it be on my channel, uh, whether it be TikTok Lives, whether it be Instagram Lives, whatever it may be, this kind of angle will have a really nice accent lighting. And I kind of wanted to go a little bit on accent lighting, a little bit of why I did it, because I didn't really explain too much of why I chose accent lighting where I did and why I did. The reason being for accent lighting is because it creates more mood. And it allows for an extra element in videos to give it that much more production value. Now, consciously, while someone's watching a video, they're not going to be most people aren't going to be like, wow, that's a really cool light in the background or, you know, they won't be like, oh, wow, his setup's so cool or, you know, whatever it may be. But one thing it's going to do is it'll add dramatic value and it'll add cinematic value to the videos themselves, which subconsciously people will enjoy a lot more. And especially if it's not too distracting, it's going to be perfect because it'll add an extra element. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna go change over to working on this. For this, what I'm gonna need to do is, since this is gonna be nearest to the plug-in, I'm actually probably gonna have to unravel all this. It's kind of what I'm thinking, because this is gonna need to end somewhere over on this side, and the starter bit actually needs to come over here. Yeah. I think that's the right color right there. That kind of matches the rest of the room here. And then I'm gonna cut, cut over to a little bit of B-roll of me working on some of this stuff. essential setup done with. I have the accent light which kind of adds a nice little element to it. Then the only other things I want to do is I want to add an accessory up here, up there, and then I'm going to put the speaker up top there. Yeah. 
Alrighty here, I just finished my crane setup. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be putting that on that shelf over there. So I'm gonna grab this. Ooh. And what I realized in that is it's not going to fit. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna set it up top. Just like that. I like how that looks. I think that's a good accessory there. That works. So then in that case, what I'm gonna do is, because I have a speaker here, I've got a speaker. Let's see how well, I don't think you can see it too well, but I got a speaker as well as a lens uh, case here, and I'm gonna put this on that shelf then. So I'm gonna put a speaker like that, and then I'm gonna put the lens case right behind it here, like so. And I like that setup right there. I like how that looks. So there's how that shelf is done up. Alrighty here. Well, now that I have this whole background set up, which looks pretty nice in my opinion, I like how it looks. I think it'll make great for good accessory content, no matter where I want to end up putting my camera at, especially with some of the stuff on the shelf here. Just giving you a little bit of a look. Um, the only thing I need to do is I need to unbox my new light and then I also just need to hang up my canvas and that will be the whole setup, which I'm super stoked, super excited for everyone to see. So within the Aperture Light Dome uh, bag here, we have a, ba a smaller baggie here, a smaller baggie here, and we have what looks to be part of the light setup right here. Then the last part of it that we have here if I can take it out, is the dome itself. That's the whole light set up there. Comes with an instruction manual too. So I'm gonna get to setting all this up. power bank, Hexfeld effects, channel group, the overall brightness, it's got your, your in and outputs, it looks to be another output, as well there I'm going to have to look at the instruction manual and see which one goes where. I have a light cover, what looks to be. And then here is where I have the actual Aperture 120D itself. Absolutely beautiful light. Absolute beauty. Now that I got that all out, I'm gonna get it all set up.
This thing is massive. This thing is huge. This thing probably fit, fills up like a, a uh, probably like an eighth of the room. Oh yeah, this thing gets real bright. Ooh, it's on 100%. Oh yeah, now we got this thing set up. <laughs> Sweet. Cool. Awesome. Well, I'm going to take some of these other lights out of the room here. up a little bit of the trash, move some lights around, and then I'll kind of give a final overview of everything that's set up. Well, that is everything. Um, I really like how some of this stuff came along. I'm extremely happy for how the neon lights look. I think it looks super cool, especially, especially, especially with the canvas on the wall. Um, going with this like tealish green color just fits so well with that and it's a great accent color too. I'm really, really happy with this because I didn't have this before. Um, so it's really nice to be able to have some of my books right there as well as have some nice cubbies. And I think the accessories overall, just as someone who does camera related stuff, video related stuff, it just goes along so well with what I'm trying to do here on YouTube, as well as what I'm overall trying to do with social media. This is gonna be a great setup for me to have. Appreciate everyone for popping into this YouTube video. If you haven't already done so, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what you think. Everything that was used in this YouTube video that I got, there will be a link below to it where you can go check that out. Maybe if you wanna go pick something up like that or the same thing, you can definitely go do that. Also, make sure to let me know down in the comments any other video suggestions that you might have for videos in the future. Until next time, peace.